Hi everyone, it's Lauren from RW Psychology. I'm coming to you with my very first video from my car, as you can see. Um, it's taken me a little bit of courage to do my first video and, you know, a little bit of time to kind of think around around what I'm, I'm going to post. It's been on my to-do list and I thought today I would just tick that one off. So here I am. Um, something that's actually been on my mind today is around assertiveness. So we all struggle with being assertive at times, you know, it's, it's a skill that we have to learn and we have to practice. Um, and saying no to people is a really big thing. I've had a lot of clients coming in who are feeling overwhelmed, really stressed and struggling with saying no to things. And by, and by always saying yes and always doing things for other people, they're not making time for themselves and you know I'm guilty of this as well not making enough time for ourselves to you know do our self-care look after ourselves put ourselves first sometimes which is really important so you know I think we can all practice saying no and it can it can shock people it can be really difficult to do but I think you know by saying no to other people we're actually saying yes to ourselves and that's really important you know I think focusing on our self-care um, allowing some space and some time for ourselves to just be mindful to practice some things to reflect um, it can take a bit of courage you know I, I don't I feel like sometimes people think they have to make up lies just try it just practice you know saying no I've already got plans I can't babysit um, and making you know scheduling for next time you know maybe I can do it on Saturday but Saturday night I've got plans um, give it a go let me know how you all go try saying no to someone um, if you find that this is something that you do and remind yourself that you're actually saying yes to yourself and allowing yourself some time to do something that you you want to and to care for yourself okay good luck everyone bye